Hey, Instagram, what's up, you guys? Um, Sonia Tompkins here, and today we are going to be talking about something juicy, all about how my clients basically life-proofed their businesses in 2020. Now, I'm being fancy and attempting to um, also do this over on Facebook too, so I'm multitasking, so you guys just bear with me um, a little bit. And like, there's like very little um, luck happening. It looks like I could be having some technical difficulties, but you know, I'm not worried about it. Okay, nope, looks like everything is rolling smooth. So anyway, you guys, welcome. Um, today, I wanna chat with you all about how my clients um, started their businesses right in the midst of 2020 pandemic, you know, all of this quarantine stuff happening. And yet they launched their physical product-based businesses and were able to generate consistently um, on average four-figure openings and launches for their physical product-based businesses um, and why you can too. So for all of you who are watching the replay or if you're watching live, just type in live. If you're watching live, if you're watching the replay, type in replay so that I know you are here. I wanna make sure that I greet you because you know that's, that's what you do, isn't it? Um, and also before I dive deep and it just gives um, these platforms some time to alert everyone that I am alive. Hey, Glenda, thank you for being here live. Thanks for following <laughs> instructions. Um, I do want to let you guys know that um, if you are selling any kind of physical products, tangible products, or if that's something that you desire to do in 2021, um, that could be, you know, home decor items, candles, cosmetics, um, inspirational journals, candles, body care, wellness products, apparel, shoes, like any type of physical products, mugs, you name it. If it is a physical, tangible product and you want to add that to your business model, or you want to create a business that is centered around you selling said physical products, um, this live, this conversation is for you. So make sure you grab a pen and paper, lean in, grab your water because it's going to be good. And one last note um, is that I will be hosting a live private training where I'm going to go much deeper into this conversation um, on Tuesday, December the 8th. I'm going to not just be telling you what, I'm going to be telling you and showing you how um, my clients are doing this and how I was able to do this, um, opening up my multiple physical product-based businesses over the last like 15, 20 years. I can't believe it's been that long. Um, and I'm going to be showing you the exact steps and framework on how to do that. Now, this private training is by application, excuse me, by invite only. And in order to get your invite, you will need to fill out a short application. You can do that over at www.soniatompkins.com forward slash apply. I have that listed in the comments and in the title, um, soniatompkins.com forward slash apply. That is my big wolf dog in the background. It could be a leaf blowing and he's having a whole moment. So this is real life. Y'all know this is live, but make sure you go over there and apply it. The application is very short. It's just a couple of questions, um, two to three questions outside of your contact info. And the reason that I've had some people ask me why they have to apply. The reason you need to apply, you all, is because I want to make sure that I am the right person that is equipped to give you what you need so that you can get the results you want um, in terms of your goals or your desires to open your physical product-based business. So I'm going to look at those applications myself and my assistant. We're going to look at those and make sure that I'm qualified to do that because if I'm not, I want to make sure that I can either refer you to someone that I know can or just let you know, like, mm, I don't think I'm going to be a good fit for you because I'm not here to waste anybody's time, right? All right. So if you have any questions or comments about that, pop them into the comments. <laughs> hey, Renika, thanks for being here and let's get into it. So let me explain to you how my clients are still killing it, crushing it, while everybody else, you know, when 2020 started, right, January 1st, 2nd, 3rd, everybody's like, woo, goals, vision boards, I'm ready. And then February came and folks was like, why are people, what's happening? And by March, it was like full-fledged panic, right? Um, and yet during that full-fledged panic, 
my clients were still able to get these results. My clients were still like, you know what? I decided I wanted to open this business. I wanted to sell these physical products and I want to make this the center of my business or I want this to be an additional stream of income for my business model that I already have. Um, I'm scared, but I'm just going to go for it. And it was like the smartest decision that they can make. Um, why? Because anytime something is really like on your heart, if it's still calling you, you know, circumstances that are external circumstances should not be the determining factor for what you do or how you progress in your life, you guys. External circumstances should not be deciding factors for you and what you do with your life, okay? They may help influence, but they shouldn't be deciding factors. And so I guess the very first thing I need you to understand is that the reason that my clients were able to have these amazing four-figure launches and openings um, and, and sales months is because number one, they committed and they trusted themselves enough that they could make it happen. All right. They trusted themselves enough to make it happen. And that trust doesn't look like them believing that they knew everything to do or that they were super like, oh, yeah, like not fearful. But they trusted themselves enough to seek out help and support to get them where they needed to be. All right. So that's like that. That's like the preface for this whole thing. But now let's get into like the very first reason that they were able to essentially like life proof their business in 2020 and have these amazing results and how you can too. So number one, they built their product based business on something, their physical product based business, you guys, like I mentioned earlier, they built it on something other than the products themselves. They built the foundation of their physical product based business or brand on something other than the products themselves. So they learned that it wasn't the specific products that they were selling that was going to make them successful. It's not about, it's not as much about your products, you guys, as you probably think it is. I know when I first got into entrepreneurship and I have switched from being service-based, or I should say I added service-based, added physical products to my service-based business, because I started off as a hairstylist and I owned my own salon and day spa. And I initially started selling physical products that complemented the salon. So that looked like a retail center that was selling, you know, home care, hair care, maintenance products for my clients. Okay. And a lot of the times I included thought that, you know, people were buying the product because it's the product, right? Because you need this product. <coughs> Excuse me. But the truth is they could have gotten those hair care products anywhere. And it's the same thing for any business out there, for anybody out there that is contemplating selling physical products. Your product is not the reason why people make, why they choose to buy or, you know what I mean? They need the product and they can go get that product anywhere. Even if you're hand making your products, somebody can go and get a product extremely similar, if not the exact same thing somewhere else. So what drives them? What is the, the factor that makes them uh, buy it, right? And my clients learned, they learned through the framework that I teach that the, the value is not in the specific product. And so once they able, were able to understand what the true value was and where that true value came from, then the product they understood, oh, that's the last piece. Like the product, the actual buying of the product is like the last piece when you consider or when you understand the psychology behind buying and selling products, right? This is why when you hear people say, you know, um, selling isn't hard because it's not about the product. But when you're focused on thinking, oh, this mug, um, people want this mug. It's all about this mug that people want. So you're putting all your energy and your focus on the product itself, on the mug. And it's not about that. So my clients were able to start these businesses and generate these four-figure sales and four-figure launches on day one because they built a business knowing fully that it was not just about the, the physical product that they were selling. They built it on a foundation that was much more deeper than that. Okay. And the second thing that um, my clients learned to do was they learned how to identify their personal triggers. Okay. 
that either drive them to make progress or drives them to procrastinate. Did y'all hear that? I'm gonna repeat it again. They learned how to identify what their personal triggers were that either drive them to make progress towards their commitment to opening their business or they learned what the triggers were that kept them in procrastination mode. So here's what I need you to understand when I'm saying this is that the word trigger isn't the problem. The trigger isn't the problem. A trigger is just, it's the thing that puts you know, it's just like the activation. It's the thing that gets the ball rolling. And we all have triggers, right? And triggers aren't necessarily bad things. You can have positive triggers. You can have things that trigger you to, to that make you feel really good. There are things that can trigger you to make you not feel so good. When you understand what those triggers are for you, it helps you to make better decisions, all right? Being an entrepreneur is all about making decisions that you believe are going to be best, not just for the business, but for you um, holistically as the person, the visionary, the brain, the mind behind the business. If you don't know what's triggering you, it's hard for you to make good choices like what products you should actually even be selling, right? You may think you may say, okay, well, I want to sell, um, you know, I want to sell custom home decor um pieces, you know, whatever that looks like. I'm going to make custom um, coasters, right? <coughs> but if you don't understand that maybe you feel like that's what you're going to sell because you've seen someone else do it and do it very, very well. And even though you love home decor, that might not be the, the, the specific items or types of products in your signature product suite that you need to sell, right? But you maybe you were triggered by seeing the success of someone else. And so you naturally wanted to gravitate to it. It was in the same wheelhouse. So it just kind of felt like, oh yeah, I should do that. When in reality, maybe what you could be selling, what would really sell for you, you know, is gonna be like this custom, these custom, um, you know, home decor uh, tablecloths or something because you do, you know, really amazing ethnic prints um, by hand that nobody else is doing. And that's something that you've done for a long time and you really enjoy it and you love that, right? So that's what's going to be, um, hey, hey, Kalina, that's what's going to be really good for you. So identifying like your personal triggers that really light you up you know, ignite you, make you want to go out here and do things and make you want to serve your audience, serve your customers, serve them, not just with the thing, the tangible physical product, but serve them in a way where you connect with them. That's going to, that's going to be helpful for you. Also knowing what triggers you um, in a negative way. For instance, if you are being told, or if you're hearing in order for you to have a successful physical product-based business, you're going to need to show up and do lives three times a day um, four out of the seven days a week in order to gain visibility and traction out here. If you're anything like me who has so many other things going on and you're like, okay, like even, <laughs> even me saying that out loud right now is triggering me internally. Like my insides are like, no, that's, I don't have time for that. <laughs> right. And if you're, if you're triggered in that way and you think that that's what you're supposed to do, you will procrastinate. You will not, you will be like, well, you know what? I don't have time to do what X, Y, Z. I don't have time to go live like that, or I don't want to go live, or I'm not ready to go live like that. And so, um, you know, I'm going to wait till I can do that. When that's just not even the truth, that's someone's truth, but that does not mean it is your truth. And so one of the things I'm super, um, focused on when I work with my clients is that I don't teach them, you know, my strategy. You know what I mean? I don't teach, let me tell you what worked for me. And if you just do what worked for me, you will be successful like I was successful. That is BS. That is what we hear out here all the time. And let me tell you why that doesn't work. Yes, I'm kind of veering off my path here, but I'm going to bring it back. I promise. The reason I don't teach people or tell people, I'm going to teach you my exact strategy is because my strategy worked for me and somebody else's strategy worked for them. So I'm not going to teach you, I'm not here to teach my clients um, 
how I did it. And is you, if you just follow my exact steps, you're going to be successful. Our lives are set up different. Our personalities are different. Our tolerance for different things is different. You know, I, what brings us pleasure is different. What drives us crazy is different. All right. But what I do teach is I teach my clients how to create their own strategies based on understanding what their triggers are, what makes you feel good, what lights you up, what's going to connect with your customers, the potential people that you want to sell to, and what products like really make you be like, yes, like I already know, like, boom, when you know that, when you have that kind of feeling, now we can create a strategy that's going to work with your lifestyle, with the income you're trying to generate, and um, that also connects with um, customers, it makes it easy for them to connect with you. When they, when it's, when you connect with them, they're going to buy, right? All right. So just to recap, number two, the second thing that my clients learned how to do was they learned how to identify their personal triggers that were either driving them to make progress or procrastinate in their um, commitment to opening their physical product-based business. All right. And then number three, and by the way, if you have comments, drop them in the, in the comments. I'm here for it. I got time. <laughs> I want to know. Um, and then number three is they created a business model that allowed them to shift and pivot easily. All right. This one is big. This is huge. So a lot of times what, what's being taught out here is just a whole lot of business strategy like I just mentioned, it's a whole lot of just follow my steps. And if you do exactly what I did and the way I told you to do it, you'll be successful. Um, but that is not necessarily a sustainable business model. Okay. And when everything took place um, in 2020, you know, a lot of people realized that they were running a business model that was not scalable. Um, it was very limited. It didn't offer any kind of flexibility. And a lot of the clients that came to me who already had businesses up and running realized that they didn't even really like the business they were running. They realized they woke up and it's like, I don't even, I'm not even really feeling this business my damn self, right? So when you know how to create a business from day one, when you create the business, right? So you can always, I teach my clients who already have businesses, okay, let's optimize and then, you know, let's realign. Let's make sure you're like, um, it's like a, a, like chiropractic care for your business, right? Like let's realign you and then let's optimize what you have going on. But if you think about just getting started, that's the most optimal time to create your business in a way that can shift and pivot. And that's what a lot of my clients had. They either had it or they learned how to shift and pivot their businesses in a way that every time this came up, they could shift. Oh, you know, people aren't coming out. Okay, you can shift. You got a brick and mortar business and there's a quarantine. Okay, how can you shift? Oh, you've been, you know, you've been selling your products, um, you know, at the farmer's market in different kind of pop-up events. Okay, cool. How can you do this and stay within mandates? One of the reasons they were able to do that so easily is because they built, they understood, they had been taught how to build a business model that worked for them work for their lives, work for their schedules, and work for um, the goals that they have for themselves, right? Listen, I can't tell you how many times I get people who come to me and they're like, I want to start this business. I want to sell, you know, XYZ types of physical products. And uh, my goal is, you know, I want to, in the first 60 days, I want to, excuse me, 60 or 90 days, you know, I want to be making, you know, I'm going to replace my income in 90 days. And I'm like, okay, first of all, probably need to work with somebody else because I'm not promising you that, you know, unless your income is, you know, in that, <laughs> uh, you know, mid to low four for your range. But more importantly, <clears throat> okay, what does your budget look like? And then they start telling me, well, my, you know, I, I don't have anything set up to, to spend on advertisement and marketing and things like that. Okay, well, what, what were you really thinking, right? Like, how did you, did we think this, think this through? But when you build a business with complete clarity and understanding of like the why behind it, what your first goals are, 
how can you achieve that, right? With what they call a minimal viable product, right? So if you're selling physical products, how can you create this business model in a minimal viable way that you can get, you know, you can hit those four figure months. They can get that four figure launch from day one. How can you do that? They learned how to do that. So every time there was some different mandate, there was some different something going on with shipping, you know, delays and things like that. My clients were able to ship. We were able to problem solve together um, and create shifts for them that allowed them to continue to uh, make sales and do well and blossom. So super excited for all of my clients that were able to do that. Some of them are still in the process of getting open, but the ones who joined and got started, they all, not some, they all like had amazing launches, amazing, you know, getting out the gates and really built a, a business that's able to pivot and move. And that also comes from understanding how to set up a, a real business from day one, right? Where you're not the only person doing all the things or you're being very strategic about the things that you're doing. You're running a business based on what works, like the 80-20 rule, not trying to do all the things, but just doing the few things that are really driving your sales and driving your traffic, driving you know um, people to your business, doing that with a lot more energy. So. That's what my clients were doing, you guys. So just to recap, number one, they built, they identified and built businesses that were not, um, they understood the value that their businesses or the physical products that they had, um, that they sell have outside of just the product itself. So that, that is just like huge. Um, number two, they learned how to identify their triggers that either kept them progressing right towards their goal or that made them procrastinate <laughs> towards their goals because it just didn't feel right. It was out of alignment completely. And then three, they built business models that were able to shift and pivot easily, right? Because they didn't build these extremely blown up uh, business models based on, well, I need to have a ton of things. I need to have a ton of products. I need to be everywhere, uh, posting all the time, doing all the things, showing up at every event. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no. Because that's the quickest way to burn out. That is the quickest way to burn out. But like I said in the very beginning, the most important thing, especially for those who were completely new, just came to me with a concept or an idea, was that they were committed to start. They knew that they wanted to start. They knew this was their time. They didn't know exactly what to do. They weren't sure how they were going to do it, but that's why they worked with me. That's what we do is we figure out those things. All I need from you all um, for those of you who are interested, all I need from you is a commitment to show up for yourself. Because if you show up for you, I will show up for you. So uh, yeah, I am super excited. You guys, again, last call. If you are interested in knowing um, more about this and going deeper um, and also participate in a live Q&A with me, I will be hosting a live private training where I'll be showing my exact um, three-part framework not my strategy that you need to duplicate, but I'll be showing you the framework that allows my clients to uh, together where we're able to create strategies for them that they can implement and sustain so that they can have thriving, successful physical product-based businesses. You can apply now at soniatompkins.com forward slash apply. Again, that's soniatompkins.com forward slash apply. The links are in the um, descriptions here. And I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you guys so much for watching, being here live. For those of you watching the replay, let me know you're watching the replay. I truly appreciate you. And I'll see you guys later.